So it's the seventh year of our um, summer camps. We started uh, in 2010. It happened by chance. She was uh, taking a walk in a park. I was uh, jogging there. So we just met there and suddenly this idea clicked that uh, we should start That's the summer camp. That's not what camp. happened. <laughs> what? That's not what happened. How did it start? On a serious note, so it was 2010 and uh, we thought we should do something for a city youngsters where both dance and theatre they come together because these are uh, two art forms which are really closely uh, knit together. Yeah. So the very first year we started and um, the response was beautiful, a lot of students came and a lot of them enjoyed. Uh, when I got to know about this camp, uh, I was really excited and I told my parents that I want to go here, whatever happens. This summer camp was a wonderful experience for me. I learned a lot from it. I've gained a lot of confidence from the improvisations that we have done. We weren't told to do what the dialogues and the scripts said, but we had to make up our own dialogues on stage. So that taught us how to think really fast. We learned how to observe our surroundings for theatre and it was just, just lovely and it was flawless. Theatre, it teaches you to be not afraid of uh, anything. It teaches you to let go of your inhibitions. And this has just boosted my confidence to a whole new level. Over here, like we are making our own script, we are directing our own play, we are bringing our props, we are managing everything. So it was a very nice experience and we got to like experience theatre properly. We learned many technical terms over here as well as we learned how to work as a team. I also learned that it's important to use my hands and my expressions for, during the play and uh, not to overdo it. A lot of them were totally new to the, uh, the, the world of theatre as well as dance. So what we focused on in these 10 to 12 days was covering with the basics of acting. In theatre we do the basics of voice, projection, voice modulation, how to work with your facial muscles and how to observe all your senses and use it in acting and performance. We worked with them around their body language, their gesture, posture. Ecstatic, very happy. Shy. Show! Sure. Don't keep your hand in your faces, that way you hide your expressions. Sad. Guilty. Having attended a previous theatre workshop from a different academy, I wasn't expecting much to be honest. You know, I was expecting the same things to be taught again. But over here we were learning how to do theatre. It was not just preparing for a play which we have to show it to our mother, mother and father, but it was learning what actually theatre is. The kids were introduced to a lot of new theatre terms um, like fade in, fade out, props, what they actually mean. Um, upstage, downstage, so a lot of these terms were new to them which was, uh, and it was keen to see how they used all of that in the improvisations. We learned how we can make different props out of anything, just taking a journey we've made at sarees. In each play we had different uh, props, so I remember waking up till 12 o'clock because I was so excited and I had to make the best props for my team, so I would be making props the entire day. The theatre improves my speaking skills and the dance teacher Puneet Ma'am was really good. She taught us ja jazz dance. In theatre we did different plays such as the silent boy or the silent girl and the magical box. We learned a uh, nice dance on, the, on many songs and then we did wonderful plays and then so it was each time very funny. Many of you were very naughty also and you did a lot of knock with them in my knock. <laughs> So we did a lot of breathing exercises at the start of the class, especially to calm them down um, and explain the relation between, you know, good speech and good breathing. Puneet Ma'am was a dance teacher. She, uh, she told us lots and lots of dance. In the dance part of the workshop, it has been amazing. I like, I, I expected to like and admire the theatre part more, but I have come to love the dance part of the workshop even more. We teach them different forms of dance because some of them like hip hop, some of them relate to contemporary more. <laughs> So we 
do contemporary hip hop jazz and from there on whoever's interested in dance they you know they follow one dance form and they yeah. train in that the dances made me stretch a lot and i think i've lost a lot of weight while dancing you shed layers you become yeah. more confident you become more expressive basically the yes. idea of letting go and yeah making the children more open to things same Through in dance and theater yeah, same in theater it is about shedding layers and uh, having that confidence to express yourself last year we decided that why not we give one day where parents also come and they experience the class and they had a ball i mean they danced like anything they they acted i mean they improvised the scene and the kids had a lot of fun watching their parents on stage so it was fun yes and the whole idea of parents the whole family doing a theater class yeah. doing a dance class is yeah. in fact we are, so uh, we are going fun. to increase it maybe from the next year we might increase it to two three classes together mm -hmm. because the kids also get motivated even parents they you know they discover the child in them again we had very short time to prepare and that taught me how to work quickly think quickly and do things in an organized way so that is a great life skill not just for theater but in other things also so that is one thing i would surely take that i I'll, i'll take zubin sir along with me <laughs> he has he is pretty amazing at what he does zubin as a teacher has a unique way with kids it's actually mesmerizing to watch him you know work with especially with little kids it, it's like magic they love him he's like their uh, their hero zubin sir and puneet ma'am are very nice like they are they are a gem kind of people and they uh, we we can learn lot from them they are very positive they are very good soul so it's a beautiful combination and then 12 days kids come here it's fun it's uh, yeah. nasty it's lo lots and, of learning yeah and their uh, creativity uh, gets stimulated i mean right now also at the back uh, these guys are working on their last performance if you can see uh how seriously they are into it yeah they come 2 hours before the workshop yeah and to just discuss of, yeah. their plays and their stories so they make friends and uh, they are here in this creative atmosphere where they learn to express themselves where they learn to be more creative so this is what 12 days can do to a kid uh, uh,